Hello all, this is Anish with you. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to get the JSON response from an API server and how to display the received JSON in a proper tabulated format. Let's see the demo of the application we are going to create in this tutorial. Left side window is the home screen of the MVC API client application and the right side window is the home screen of the MVC server application. Using this MVC API client application, we can make requests to any open API servers. First, let me click the list weather data button to request a call to local API server which is shown in the right side window. There we go. We got the response from the API server. And look at that. The response is displayed properly in a tabulated format. Let's go back to the index screen. We can also retrieve the response from any open API server using this application. So let's see that also. Let's click the create new button here. And in the API address text box, we will enter the API URL of our local API server to retrieve the response as JSON string. I mean in an unformatted manner. After that, let's click the create button. Yes, we got the response as JSON string. Then let's click the back button and click the create new button again. This time we are going to request from worldtimeapi.org. This API will give the correct time of any city by passing the country and city name. I am going to request the current time of the city London from this API. There we go. We got the JSON response string from the API server. So using this API client, you can pass calls to any API server and get the response as JSON string. Okay, that's it with the demo. Now let's see how the applications are made. In the last tutorial, we saw how to create an API server and web API client. The completed projects are shown side by side and the source code URLs of these projects are already shown on the last video. If you have not watched the last video, no worries, I will show the source code URLs in this video also and the last video URL will be available in the description. So please watch if you like to know how the projects are created. First, download the API client project source code from the displayed URL. In case if you want to see the tutorial on how this API web client was made, the YouTube link is in the description. Please watch it. After downloading the MVC web client project, download the M MVC API service project. After that, extract both the projects in your C drive and then open both the projects using Visual Studio 2022. After that, keep the projects side by side as shown in the video. Now, in this video, we will see how to format and save the received JSON data into a database because the response we received from the API server is a JSON string. If we are not able to format this JSON string, then there is no use of it, right? But no worries, we can easily format this to a class. Okay, let's first copy the API URL from the Swagger interface. And then paste the copied URL to the API web client's address text box and press the create button. Perfect, we got the response. Let's copy the response and paste it to the notepad file. Then let's format the response JSON string to have a clear understanding of it. Okay, now it is formatted. See, it has 5 records in it. I mean the weather data for next 5 days. Each row has 1 day, day record. Let's stop the API web client application. Then open the solution explorer and then select and expand the models folder. After that, right click the models folder and click add menu followed by new item menu. Then give name of the file as weatherdata.cs and click add button. 
and now click the edit menu. Then select paste special and then click the menu named as paste json as classes. Wow, the json is pasted as class 1 in the weatherdata.cs file. Now first delete the empty class named as weather data. Then rename the class 1 as weather data. After that set the default value for the summary property to empty string. Then delete the root object class. We don't want this. This is basically a root class to hold the collection of weather data class. But we will do it in a different way. Next we need to install an important library called newtonsoft.json. This is an excellent library as with full of wonderful features. So install this library if you really want to become an expert in API programming. To install this library first click tools and select nuget package manager and then select manage nuget packages for solution and in here click the browse tab then enter newtonsoft.json in the search area and press the enter key to start the search actually the first search result is hidden I really don't know why in my machine it is always showing the second search result in the top. Anyway, that's not important here. I will handle it myself. For now, let's scroll up to see the first search result. There it is. Select the newtonsoft.json from the search results. As of this recording, the latest stable version of newtonsoft.json library is 13.0.2. So let's select the latest one. Then click the MVC API client checkbox from the projects listing grid. Then press the install button to start the installation. In case if you are prompted with the preview changes dialog box, press OK to continue the installation. Then wait for the installation to complete. Perfect, now the installation of newtonsoft.json is completed. After that, open the solution explorer window. And from here, open the home controller.cs file. And then create an action method named list weather data. The purpose of this method is to get the weather data from the API and send the data to the view file to display in the screen. So let's create the view file. To create the view file, right click on the method name. Then press add view. After that, Select Reza view and press the add button. Then select the list from the action template selection box. After that select weather data in the model class selection and press the add button. Then wait for the scaffolding task to complete. Perfect, the weather data listing page has been successfully created. Then delete the edit, date tiles and delete links from the listing screen. Because this is not a CRUD application. I am just creating like a CRUD application so that it will be easy for you to understand. Then scroll to the top of the file and delete the add button link also. Perfect. Now our listing page is ready. Let's go back to the controller and write the API method to retrieve the weather data from the API server. Click the view menu and select the solution explorer to load the solution explorer window. After that from the solution explorer window select the controllers folder and open the home controller.cs file. And in here Copy the method named API request by HTTP client and paste it below.
then rename the pasted method name to get weather data and remove the parameter. After that, add a variable named URL of type string. Then switch back to MVC API server project and run it. After that, expand the weather forecast methods drop down box and click the try it out button. After clicking the try it out button, the execute button will be loaded and the required parameters are shown on the swagger window. But this method does not have any parameters, so it shows us no parameters. Now click the execute button and scroll down a bit to see the API URL for this method. And then copy the shown API URL and switch back to the MVC API client project. And in here set the variable named URL to the API URL copied from the MVC API server project. The URL may be different in your machine. so. Please do as shown to get the correct output. After that, copy the weather data list variable from the list weather data action method and paste it to the get weather data method. And then change the return variable of get weather data method to list weather data. Then after change the return type of the get weather data to list of weather data. Then go to the action method named list weather data and add a line to set LST weather data to get weather data. And now the important step is going to come. So please listen carefully. Then declare a variable named weather data call of type where. After that, use the deserialize object method from JSON convert class of the Newtonsoft.json library. Please notice this syntax properly. Here we are going to convert the JSON string to the weather data collection. So we need to first enter the type of the collection. Here the type of the collection is list. Then we need to enter the type of the child object. The type of the child object here is weather data. So we enter the weather data inside the list. After that we pass the name of the variable to this method. Here the name of the JSON variable is HTML. In case if the HTML has only null value then it will throw runtime error in the view file. So we will first check is the weather data call for null. If it is not null then we set the LST weather data list variable to weather data collection variable. Ok now we are done with the controller file. So let's open the solution explorer and from there open the index.cshtml file from the home folder which is inside the views folder. In here copy the p tag of the create new link and paste it below. Then after change the ASP dash action tag helper of the pasted code to list weather data. And then change the a tags link text of the pasted code to list weather data. That's it, we are done. Let's build and run the application. Perfect, the application's home screen is loaded. So there is no error in the application. Let's click the list weather data button. Now the API response is listed in the tabulated grid. So now we are able to deserialize the JSON string received from the API server. Let's go back to the index page. And this time let's press the create new button. In this screen 
we can make a request to any open API server. So let's make a call to worldtimeapi.org and request the current time of London. Wow, we got the response from the worldtimeapi.org. But this JSON is not formatted. If you want to format this JSON, then please do as shown in the tutorial. Then let's go back to the index screen again. And this time click the list weather data. Perfect, the weather data is displayed properly in the screen. So both the approach is working fine. In our next tutorial, we will make a CRUD application using the API server and API client technology. With this, I am completing this video. Before I sign off, I request you to subscribe and share this video. I would appreciate if you would like and subscribe to this channel so that you will be notified for all of the new videos that I will be posting. Thank you and bye for now.